so guys for this tutorial our fabric paper needs to be sorry our pattern paper needs to be folded into two so once you fold your pattern paper into two you're going to be drafting your basic pattern the way i did here so i have my front now i'm going to be cutting so now once i have my front pattern this way i'm going to be closing my waist that but before i close my waist that i need to open up the bust area so um i can have ease for folding for closing so just go ahead and slash your scissors through the midpoints of that bust area then you're going to be closing that waist part so once you have something that is relaxed like this just take your time with it once you have something relaxed like this you can now go ahead to use your tape to hold it down so why are we closing the waist area the tutorial requires only a bust start so we need to eliminate the waist that to make room for more allowance on the bust area so if you notice when i close the waist that the bust that opens more so if you have like two inch allowance for your bust that before when you close the waist that you are going to be having like three inch or 3.5 inch depending on the allowance size on that waist part so once i am done doing that i went ahead to remove the tape why did i remove the tape because i need to transfer the dart to the other side of the pattern remember our pattern is our pattern paper is folded into two so i am going to be using this tool called a scribbler so what it does is that once you you're going to be just going in with all your lines your vertical lines your horizontal lines because you need them on the other side so these tools make this tool makes it visible for you to see the lines on the other side so once you do this and you open up your pattern paper you can see the lines clearly on the other side So make sure you mark all your points so if you can see I marked my dart lines then I went ahead to mark my horizontal lines so once I did that I'm going to be opening it up So here my pattern is opened so I have all my front pattern visible now I'm going to be going in with my pencil So once I was done marking the horizontal line, I went in to mark my dots. So now that I have all my points visible on the other side, I'm going to go ahead to close my waist dots again. 
remember we don't need the way start so we're going to be closing it again the reason why we opened it was because we wanted to transfer our um markings to the other side so there i went ahead to mark the midpoints of my front pattern So can you see, I'm just closing the waist that. So you go in with your tape and you close it. So in case you see some um, styles that the dart is only on the bust area, this is how it is done. So this pattern, I can easily add a cup, a bra cup to this pattern. I'm going to be showing you how to achieve that later on. So now once I was done doing that, I went ahead to mark the depth of my neckline so i you can decide to use 4 or 4.5 depending on how low the client wants it so i think i went ahead to use 4.5 and on that shoulder point i came in 1.5 inch then i use my cup my curve to connect those points now i'm going in with my curve again to shape it so remember we're shaping all the way to the armhole area so i went in with my pencil and my free hand first because i didn't like the shape the curve was giving me so once i was satisfied then i now went in with my marker So now I'm just cutting the side cut by the waist. So I went in two by two, then I connected the points. Now you can go ahead to cut. So for that part, you're going to be marking your arrows. Now. I placed on my fabric and I cut. Don't forget to add your seam allowances. So here is what the front pattern looks like. Don't forget to notch the midpoint. So now I'm just going to be cutting that side part. Don't forget to add allowances. So now we're done with the front. So let's cut the back. So here's the back pattern, what it looks like. So I'm just transferring it the way I did for the front. Remember to fold your pattern paper into two because the neckline is not the same. So we're folding our pattern paper into two. So here is what the back looks like. So to shape the neckline, you're going to be bringing the front, then you mark the points, then you go ahead to shape it. So there I was just labeling them to make sure I know the right from the left. For the back, I came down six inch on that neck area then i went in with my free hand then when i was satisfied i went in with my marker then i cut so that is that for the back so i went ahead to trace the side waist cut part i went ahead to trace it out from the back as well then i cut so if you notice i already closed the waist that for the back as well 
I don't want it visible on my fabric so I closed it so here I'm just cutting it out please don't forget to add allowances so here is the first part of the back and here is the second part so the first thing I did was to hold in my dart allowance for the bust area so you are going to be folding it in that manner and you are going to be sewing so once you do that for that side you are going to do the same thing for the other side as well so once you have this sewn in place you are going to go ahead to use your iron to hold it down once you do that you are going to be holding the seam allowance by the sides so I went into holding my one inch seam allowance. I'm going to be doing that for the other side as well. Remember this tutorial is a one shoulder dress so we're going to be holding both allowances. So I went ahead to do the same thing for the lining. So here is the little triangle by the side. So we're going to be sewing that into the bodies. So I went ahead to secure that in place. Once I have it secured, I notched the mid part. I went ahead to sew it to the body of my fabric. So remember, I used the same fabric for the lining. So once I was done sewing in the triangle by the side, I'm going to go in with my lining. I'm going to use my lining to turn it. So here is the lining. I've done the same thing I did for the main fabric. I did it to the lining, so I'm just going to be turning the triangle parts with the lining. Before I do that, I'm going to go in with my cups. So to place your cup, you're going to be placing it on the lining in that form. Remember, I placed mine on the lining, so you're going to be using your pin to hold it down. Make sure you note where your underbust area is. That's where your cup will sit. So once I have something like this, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and I'm going to go in with my needle and thread to tack it down. So once you have something like this, place your cups on the lining of the fabric in this form. So once you have this, you're going to be placing your bodies on it. That is your front So you need to have something like this. Your cup needs to be standing in this form. So once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to go in to use my lining to turn the triangle parts. So once I turn it, so I'm going to have something like that. So you need to go in with your iron to hold everything down perfectly. So here is what I have when I did that. So can you see how neatly that looks? So once I was done with that and um, I was satisfied, I can now go ahead to turn the neckline of my dress. So now to turn the neckline, I went in with my hemming gum. You need an hemming gum for perfect neckline. So you turn your neckline, you join the shoulders, your arm off, and you're going to have something like this. So once you have this, you're going to go in with your iron to secure it in place. So once I was done, I have something like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.